guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a diy welcome sign that can go on your front porch so i got this four foot board from home depot or you can get it from lowe's as well they sell for about five to seven bucks so it's pretty inexpensive to do and once you get the board the first step is just to sand it down and make sure that all the sides are even so you can have a flat surface to stain on So the stain that I'm using today is a ebony wood stain that I also got from Home Depot and that was about four, four to five bucks. And so I'm just taking my foam brush and rubbing it against all sides and then once I'm done with that I'm going to wipe it off with the rag. So once I have all the sides stained and coated pretty well, I make sure to get all the corners as well and wiped it off with my rag. And this is what it looks after staining all sides and wiping it down. Once you stain that, you just want to sit it outside and let it dry for about two hours. Okay, after I let my board dry, I took it inside and then I went ahead and put my stencil over it. I did make this with my Cricut but you can easily get some graphite paper and draw the and trace the letters on the board if you guys would like I could do a video on that too and show so right now I'm just making sure that everything's aligned straight and I'm making sure that my stencil is on pretty well so I can go hunt ahead and paint it Okay, so now that my stencil is on and secure, I'm going to go in with this Waverly chalk white paint and a foam brush to pat over the letters. So you want to make sure that you're not soaking it entirely with this. Put a very small amount onto the brush and dab up and down in an up and downward motion onto the letters. Do not smudge, do not smear, and do not over painted or it will run through so just be careful and gentle with it and once you do this very thin coat you can go in with another coat of white paint to make sure everything is 
clean and everything is coated to perfection. Okay, so once the paint was dry, I let it dry for about two hours and now I'm just gently peeling off the stencil. Okay, so this is the final look. It came out really nice, you guys. So I didn't have any bleeding at all. I let it dry for a good bit, so that was a good thing. And I will take it outside and also let you guys see what it looks like in the sun. So if you do do this, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it turns out good for you as well. Leave me a comment down below and let me know.